fellow friends. So let's talk about global warming and stuff. Uh, students are asking me about this, and uh, and that and one of the questions that come up is because some people say go on one fringe and say it's not real. There's no global warming, and then you have the other side that says that uh, the Earth is going to turn into a shish kebab and five years if we don't do something right now. So what's the truth? Well, I looked through and um, did some studies on it. Uh, I like this one guy. It's called Living Stingy Blog. Um, he's a, a pretty smart gay engineer down in Georgia who is self-employed and uh, he does his, he does a good blog and he do, does a study pretty thoroughly and then there's other things that I've looked at and I've read and I've gone through and uh, on the internet more than I could even count to you and one theme that comes up again and again with global warming is that it's a long term thing it's a long way off like we're looking at in 50 years the water table rising an inch down in Florida we're looking at in a hundred years it rising two inches, maybe three inches, um, and that are and, and then in two hundred years it might be a foot deeper down in Florida than it is now, and people might have to move their houses back a foot away from the ocean and stuff like that. Um, this is continual that they're bringing up this stuff, and uh, now the left left-wing narcissistic nut jobs want you to believe that literally Florida is going to be underwater in 10 years if we don't do something right now. Uh, Hollywood puts out movies like The Day After Tomorrow with Dennis Quaid and uh, makes you think that for some reason uh, the, the this climate change is going to turn into a full-fledged Arctic zone. Uh, you know, and so forth. So, what are my thoughts on global warming with what I've seen from put out by Hollywood and, and put out by uh, left wing nut jobs? Well, first of all, global warming is real, it is uh, something that needs to be addressed and it would be need, need to be addressed in the future. However, it's according to their models, it doesn't look like it's going to be a real effect in my lifetime. Um, there's a lot. Thing, more things that are more important that are going on than global warming. And uh, let me just give you an illustration. Uh, when back in the 70s, uh, they were all about natural resources, running out of natural resources, running out of natural resources. So I remember them teaching me in school when I brushed my teeth to brush my teeth, shut off the faucet, then rinse with a little bit of water and so forth. However, I very quickly saw the hypocrisy of this when those very same people were watering their lawns. What difference does it make if I shut off the water when I brush my teeth if they're out running water and watering their lawns to keep them nice and green all the time? Okay. Uh, another hypocrisy I've seen is uh, car emissions and all that and how it was cutting a, a hole in the ozone layer. And, um, and, and now that the cars have to Volkswagen's in trouble because they cheated or something. Well, uh, how about lawnmowers? Are, there, are those things ever smoke blowing, smog inducing beasts that people use all the time? And so, and, and oh, hairspray. We're supposed to get rid of hairspray and not use hairspray anymore because it was destroying those on layer. And it goes on and on and on and on. This is what I've heard all my life. And then people turn right around and do other things that would be every, every bit just as damaging to the environment. Now, the top of my priority list with these things is why don't they have, why aren't the narcissistic, liberal, wacky dudes doing something about Yellowstone? If Yellowstone blows, I'm toast. And they've said that it is overdue to blow. It could blow at any time. My kids come in depressed all the time when they come from science class that West Yellowstone is due to blow. And when it blows, we will be... A, evaporated, incinerated by plasmic ash within minutes and there will be a cloud over half the United States. Crops won't grow for three years and a lot of people are going to die. There will be starva mass starvation. There will be all kinds of problems when West Yellowstone blows. Then why are we concentrating on global warming 
or climate change or whatever you want to call it, um, and glaciers melting, rather than concentrating on and poor little polar bears, instead of concentrating on this volcano and maybe trying to invent something to stop it from blowing. That's what we have Old Faithful in West Yellowstone. It's a, it's a super volcano. So that would be a more of a concern to me. If they were saying that's looking like it's going to blow pretty soon and we need to do some research, you know, uh, to, to uh, deal with that, that seems to be more of a threat than, to me than global warming, okay, uh, at this point. And the climate change, as I've studied the past, the climate since the 1880s, since they've been taking measurements, there's been really warm winters up here, and there's been really, really cold, brutal winters, where it's gone 75 below. 75 below, and then some winters where in February it was 60 degrees out. So, and but those both mean global warming, but that's been going on since the 1880s. We've only had about a century to really study this stuff, a little over a century, 150 years, whatever. And we think that we've got the answers and that we know that uh, it's the end of the world anytime there's a shift in temperature where it gets warm or it gets cold. Uh, like a few weeks ago, MSNBC was putting out that the world is the hottest it's ever been. Yet where I live, it was 31 below zero. Send it a little bit of that heat wave my way, you know. And then they'll say, uh, that that reason it's so hot and it's so cold up here is that's climate change. That's insanity. And there was this big cold that went all the way down, a big clipper that went down around the northwest, the whole Midwest, and just froze. And, I'm, you know, I've seen literally it snow in Florida. When I lived in Florida, it snowed one time. They shut everything down because nobody knows how to drive on it. And so what about back then? I mean, that was in the mid-70s sometime, where it actually snowed in Florida. They're out with these torches trying to keep the oranges from, you know. So has, has global warming been going on that long? Today, if they, that happened, they'd be claiming that it's the end of the world as we know it. So that's where I stand. I just think that climate change may be an issue in a couple hundred years. But right now, I think there's more pressing matters. Let me give you one. A lot of people are not fully funding their retirement. They're buying houses they can't afford, they're buying cars they can't afford, and they're not padding their retirement and putting money away to retire. Ah, uh, that is more concerning to me than global warming, because it looks like that could get really, really ugly. Anyway, just some thoughts for today on global warming, where it is on my the sky is falling, it's the end of the world, we're all going to die. Uh, this is it for me. Um, I've heard all this stuff forever. <laughs> forever I've heard this stuff. And uh, I'll tell you that probably paying attention to the things on your own plate right now is the best thing that you can possibly do. The things closest to you. Um, I would I would think that we want to go after AIDS and cancer really hard before we'd worry about global warming, which is 200 years away, where cancer is killing people left and right, killing my family members, killing your family members, AIDS, which is, uh, you know, and also the superbugs that are coming out, Ebola, and you go on the list, that if they spread or they evolve a little bit, they could really be a pandemic. Those things are more concerned to me than global warming. Sorry. I, if you want to spend a million dollars and put up a big windmill, go ahead. But it's not a concern to me. And uh, I'm just saying that's where I stand with it. Um, I think that the people in Florida will be okay. Take care. Bye.